Welcome to Factly, the place of interesting and unusual facts. Welcome to our top 10 facts about iguanas. Green iguanas are huge tree climbing lizards that are native to the Caribbean, Central America, and South America. In Florida, Hawaii, Texas, and the U.S. Virgin Isles, feral colonies of them can be found in the wild. These reptiles can make wonderful pets if kept in the right habitat and nourished properly, particularly for people who desire a lifelong friend or families with older, possibly even teenage children can be taught how to properly manage the reptile. What should you understand before thinking about getting an iguana as a pet? Let's jump right into the video with number one. They're sun worshippers. Iguanas, like many other reptiles, require UV radiation for their skin to produce vitamin D, which subsequently allows them to absorb calcium from their food. The UV light must be directly directed at the animal. It cannot be filtered by glass, such as through a window. Although the light may still be on, indoor UV bulbs should be replaced every six months since the UV spectrum eventually wears out. Iguanas kept indoors without access to UV radiation will develop a condition called metabolic bone disease in which they remove calcium from their skeleton, resulting in soft bones that bend and break under stress. Even though the metabolic bone disease is eventually lethal, it is treatable if caught early. In order to ensure their health, all iguanas should be evaluated by a veterinarian when they are first acquired and at least once a year after that. Number 2. Their tails come off. If a predator grabs the tail and holds on, iguanas in the wild can break off their tails to get away. If their tails are trapped and preventing them from moving on, or if they are restrained by them, they will simply free them. Sometimes, if they whip them against a hard surface, or if they're stepped on, pet iguanas may lose their tails. Iguanas may separate their tail between vertebrae thanks to a unique muscle attachment to the tail vertebrae. Particularly, if an iguana is young, healthy, and still growing, that tail that breaks off cleanly will grow back. Number 3. They shed their skin. Iguanas shed their skin as they mature, and they will do so for the rest of their lives, with young animals doing it more frequently and elderly ones occasionally doing so less frequently. They normally sit still with their eyes closed, with their body inflated, to aid the loosening of the shedding skin. When they shed, their skin becomes opaque and their skin color dulls. To remove shedding skin patches, they frequently will rub their bodies against the bars of their cage. Pieces of the dry retained skin can shed more quickly by sprinkling them and soaking them in a small pan of warm water while they're doing so. Depending on the humidity of the animal's confinement and whether or not the pet has rocks or other objects to rub on, shedding can take several days. Number 4. They're crazy about veggies. Iguanas are herbivores eating predominantly vegetables and fruit in the wild with an occasional insect, snail, or bird's egg. Pet iguanas should be fed a vegetable-based diet with minimal animal protein as long as animal protein consumption may have harmful effects on the kidneys. Iguanas should be fed a variety of dark leafy greens including collard, mustard, turnip, and dandelion greens. They also love kale. Other vegetables, such as green beans, snap peas, carrots, squash, and peppers should be in their diet, along with the lesser amounts of fruit. They especially love mango, papaya, apples, banana, and berries. A varied vegetarian diet is critical to maintain the proper balance of calcium to phosphorus, which is essential to our iguana's health. Number 5. They're long-bodied and long-lived lizards. Iguanas are very large lizards that can live 20 or more years in captivity and can grow as long as 6 feet nose to tail tip. More than half of their body length is due to their tail. Adult males can weigh up to 9 pounds, with some especially large ones reaching as much as 18 pounds. While smaller females, they may grow up to 7. The first thing to know if you're thinking of having an iguana is that you need to plan on having a very large tank or enclosure in which the animal can stretch out and turn around. While small iguanas can be housed in aquariums, as they age, they generally outgrow the tanks and they must be housed in pinned off areas or a small room where the temperature, humidity, and ultraviolet light exposure can be controlled. An iguana enclosure should be at least twice as long as the iguana and a minimum of 6 feet high as they love to climb. Number 6. They love it hot and sticky. Iguanas like to have a basking zone that is around 90 degrees Fahrenheit and should have a cooler zone that doesn't fall below the mid-70s. 
generally depending on the size of the tank or the enclosure, a combination of ceramic bulbs that provide heat or mercury vapor bulbs that provide both heat and UV light are used to maintain the temperature within this ideal range. Point-and-shoot temperature guns or simple stick-on thermometers that adhere to the wall should be used. A reptile-savvy veterinarian can provide an iguana owner with advice about enclosure setup appropriate to the size of the iguana and how to anticipate future needs. Iguanas are ectotherms, meaning their body temperatures are determined by their environmental features. When their surrounding temperatures drop too low, their body temperatures drop, their immune systems don't function optimally, and their metabolism slow, making them more susceptible to infections. They also need adequate humidity, a minimum of 60 to 70% to stay hydrated. You should know, iguanas absorb water through their skin. While all iguanas should be provided with a shallow water dish from which to drink, they should also be misted or soaked in a shallow pan of water several times a week, especially in dry climates, to ensure they don't get dehydrated. Number 7. They have an extra eye. Iguanas have an uncommon photosensory organ on top of their heads called the pineal gland, or the parietal eye. They also have excellent vision and distinguish between hues and UV light clearly. This structure is sensitive to changes in the light and movement, and it shares some anatomical characteristics with a typical eye. Despite being unable to create images, this third eye aids wild iguanas in spotting predators hovering above them. Several other lizard species and certain fish also have this additional eye. Number 8. They recognize their owners by sight and sound. Many individuals who are inexperienced with iguanas are unaware of the fact that pet iguanas can easily identify their owners through sight and sound. Iguanas can see their owners quite well, and they are able to identify them. Also, iguanas are adept listeners. While an iguana lacks an external ear like humans do, it does have an easily visible eardrum, also known as the tympanic membrane, that is continuous with the skin surface on both sides of its head. Although they perceive noises in a different frequency range than humans do, they can easily distinguish between the known voices and background noise. They might not answer like a dog, but they do respond to their caregivers. Number 9. They carry Salmonella bacteria. All reptiles potentially carry Salmonella bacteria in their gastrointestinal tracts, and generally these bacteria do not harm them in any way. When the bacteria passes into a lizard's stool, however, the stool becomes a potential source of infection for people and pets who may come in contact with it. Salmonella can cause serious gastrointestinal upset, blood infection, and even death in people, especially infants and the elderly. Number 10. Is the iguana the right pet for you? Iguanas are fairly complicated lizards to care for, but when maintained properly, these amazing reptiles can make wonderful companions for 15 to 20 years or more. If you are considering an iguana as a pet, speak to a reptile-savvy veterinarian before you rush out and get one, just to be sure that iguana is right for you. Well, I hope you learned a lot in our top 10 facts about iguanas. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.